What's up YouTube? This is Cyber Felon, and today I have another Yugi Mega 10 to open for you guys. So without further ado, let's get into this opening and let's see if I can get a solid strike. I've been kind of needing more of those, honestly. Solid strike or an infinity would be awesome. Huh, is it in poke? No. There we go. But yeah, for those of you who haven't seen the collector set, the 2016 tins yet, these are very good tins. They come with a lot of really good cards, especially for collectors or for people who are trying to play in a competitive scene. Especially, you know, Solemn Strike being pro not really probably the best card that you can pull from it. So, let's go ahead and review the contents of the promo pack, the beautiful secret rare Slifer the Sky Dragon. I really do hope they end up releasing a Mega Tin for Ra so we can get it in secret rare as well. And then we have the Dark Magician, the original art, which is always very beautiful to get. The Ultra Rare Ebon High Magician, DD Flame Genghis, Flame King Genghis, an Upside Down, what is this? Dragulus, the Empowered Warrior, and then the Performer Pal Pendulum Sorcerer. A very nice reprint. And it also looks pretty nice and super rare. And then now for the Mega Packs, the main reason you buy the tin. Let's see if we can get something really awesome. We have a Performer Pal Spring Goose, a Dynamis Charge, very, very good card, Dynamis, a key card to the deck actually. Secret Glass, Karma of the Destruction Swordsman. Super Heavy Samurai Magnet, really good card for Super Heavies. Super Heavy Blowtorch, Triple D Marksman King Tell, then a Black Luster Soldier Super Soldier. Let's go ahead and move that out of the way for the rare. And then a Secret Rare Buster Blade, the, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. I was about to say Destruction Swordsman, but that's the other version. It's kind of still in the way. Then we have for the Super Beginning Knight, which is a really good BLS card. And then Trick Box, Despot Jet, Bird of Paradise Lost, Phantom Griffin, Tallying C, that's a really good card that was a short print. I'm not sure if it's a short print here, but it's still a very good card. Commons. You go ahead with the second half. Human Winds, we're starting off with Super Soldier with Birth, Shira Nui Style Swallow Slash, say that four times fast, or five times, just try to say it fast in general. Raid Raptor Fuzzy Lanius, Radiant the Multi Dimensional Kaiju, really good Kaiju, then a Shira Nui Spectral Sword, I was about to say Shogun Saga, a Painful Escape, this card is painful to get because I just keep getting it and I don't want it then a Zhong Sheng magician and then we have backup rider robot buster first aid the super heavy samurai thief raid raptor return and a skull eagle to end out the commons our last pack can we get something pretty good maybe a twin twister at least that would actually be pretty good twin twister is still a very powerful card Melodious, or Soprano the Melodious Songstress, Dynamis Brachion, very good Dynamis card, Despot 4, also a good Despot, Destruction Sword Flash, the Grand Horn of Heaven, a cheap alternative to Solemn Warning and Strike, actually more Solemn Strike than Warning, but still it's a very cheap alternative and it's a very good card. Contract Laundry, Perform Pal Ella Famer, Magic Spectre Tornado, and you've got to be freaking kidding me. Another one of these things. Wow, that's that's disappointing, like seriously. But a triple D duo of Don King Kali Yuga is not too bad as a super to end with. Then we have Alu Mirage, Super Heavy Samurai General Coral, Trick Box, Dynamist Rush, very good Dynamist card, Designer Fright for, and a Fluffle Sheep to end the last card. Overall, I'd say we didn't do too bad with the rares, especially getting Kaiju since they can just tribute over anything. The Magic Spectre is not bad trade bait, it's not bad card at all either because Magic Spectres are still relevant. And then just 
the painful escapes. Well, I wish they'd escape my life. The Buster Blade is probably the best secret we got, and it's probably the one that I like the most. And then as the supers, the supers weren't too bad. The beginning night's not bad, and Kaliuga's definitely going to be seeing a lot of play once the new Pendulum Domination structure that comes out in the end of January, I believe, if not early February. I believe it's January, though. But that's it for today, YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like the video because that really helps me out. It shows me you guys really do enjoy my content. Remember to comment how you guys think I did with this opening. Also remember to subscribe if you already haven't. And lastly, hit that bell icon if you are already subscribed to my channel because it keeps you up to date as well as informs you whenever I have a new upload. So until next time, later guys.